Carolina Herrera Bad Boy Extreme. This is supposed to be the scent of a bad boy and express the burning bond of brotherhood. Let's find out how much of a bad boy it is. Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. If you are brand new to my channel and if you love smelling good, which I know you do, then you gotta make sure to hit that subscribe and that notification button. So in this video, I'm going to take a closer look at Carolina Herrera Bad Boy Extreme. Some of the notes in Bad Boy Extreme are vetiver, patchouli, clarisage, cacao, incense, olibanum, tonka bean, ginger, opoponax, davana, bergamot and labdanum. So I already worn this quite a bit. I'm going to spray this on paper on skin and of course like i always do up in the air and the first thing to hit my nose is that ginger a nice dose of ginger and within like a minute or two in comes that sage the opening is intense right away it's bright it's aromatic and i quite like it <sighs> when i say bright i don't mean that as in bright and fresh. This is aromatic and bright, but not leaning into sort of a fresh side of things. Just a couple of minutes into the dry down, in comes my favorite part of this scent. A hint of fruity sweetness peeking through, and that, my friends, is the plum making its entrance. Right behind it is that cacao, and I'm loving it. The plum in Bad Boy Cobalt was one of the reasons why I love that scent so much. And I'm really happy to sort of get a bit of that in extreme, but the plum in extreme feels darker and sort of muted, if that makes sense. All of this, at least on my skin, happens so fast. That aromatic opening is up first, then in comes the plum and I'm in love. And then like a minute or so after that, in comes the cocoa. It's almost like a cool mix of sweet cacao with a fruity kind of sweetness to it and a bit of shine and brightness from the ginger and the sage in the background. When all those notes are playing together, it smells great, but unfortunately, it does not last that long. About 10 minutes into the dry down, it all starts to change and it feels like that sweet sort of a chocolate with a bit of vanilla is pushing it through to the front with a bit of that fruity sweetness behind it. Sometimes cacao in fragrance feels sort of a dry. This is not that. This feels rich, dark, creamy, almost buttery, and it's almost like a dark chocolate cake with like hazelnut extract poured all over it with a bit of vanilla. The dry down to me is mostly a soft, slightly warm, ambery and dark, chocolate-ish kind of scent with vanilla, a tiny bit of that fruity sweetness to it, a hint of vetiver and something creamy and almost nutty over it. I have a lot of fragrances and I've smelled so many fragrances over the years, but it's not that often I come across this kind of speedy transition from the opening to the mid to the dry down. That aromatic opening with the fruitiness and that sort of initial phase of the cacao is something I feel is really nice, but unfortunately it really does not last long. The mid through to the dry down is still exciting though, although not as fantastic as the opening. So how do I feel? when I wear Bad Boy Extreme. I'm gonna say this is definitely one of the sexiest in that line. And this together with Bad Boy Cobalt are definitely two of the most sexy in that line. This gives me a sexy vibe with a bit of elegance to it. It's sexy for sure, not downright dirty sexy, but it's sexy and it gives off a sexy vibe. So what about compliments and reactions from others? This is without a single doubt a compliment get a kind of fragrance. The cacao makes it stand out and it grabs people's attention while the sweetness brings that sexiness to it. You'll most likely get compliments with this one. So what about the performance? At least based on my initial testing of it, this is definitely the strongest sort of performing of all bad boys. The projection is decent if you spray it properly and it stays on my skin for quite some time. This is definitely not a beast mode kind of scent, 
but unless you underspray, you most likely get a scent cloud that people around you can pick up on and enjoy. So when should you use Bad Boy Extreme? I feel that the dry down is so attractive that this is a scent you can use both formally and casually, but definitely since it's so sexy, definitely use it uh, like date night or when going out. As for seasons, fall, winter and spring for sure, but this is definitely a fragrance I will use on summer night outs. So who should buy Carolina Era Bad Boy Extreme? Do not buy this if you don't enjoy cocoa and fragrances because this is pretty much loaded with that. Also, you should probably stay away if you don't enjoy a bit of sweetness in fragrances because this has quite a prominent dose of sweetness to it even though I don't feel it's overly sweet in any way. However, if you like the scent of cacao, that's sort of a dark and rich chocolate scent and I think you would enjoy it with a dose of vanilla and everything being sort of ambery and warm, then why not try it out? So how am I going to rate Bad Boy Extreme? This is definitely a nice scent. I really enjoy this, even though I do enjoy the opening a bit more than the full dry down, it's still a nice scent from start to finish. Bad Boy Extreme is a mass appealing scent for sure. The opening is an attention grabbing one and the dry down is the kind of scent that a lot of people will enjoy. The performance is solid and I like it, but I'm not addicted to it. I'm going to give Bad Boy Extreme an eight. This is a very nice scent. This is a solid release and it's a compliment getter most people most definitely will enjoy getting a whiff of. So how do you feel about Bad Boy Extreme and how would you rate it? From one to 10, please put it in the comments. Please do drop a like on this video. Thank you, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe, make sure you hit that notification button. Make sure you check out the videos over there. Oh yes, oh yes, and I'll see you in the next one.